Everybody knows that headphones hurriedly put in your pocket or piles of cords or jostled strings inevitably become knotted, but why though? What are the factors? <laughs> 2001 study on the spontaneous formation of knots shook hanging chains to see what kind of knots would form. Cause math actually has a pretty rigid definition of knots. Mathematical knots are made of closed loops and are categorized by what's called crossings. And crossings are where one bit goes over or under another bit. This is called the trefoil knot and it's the only knot with three crossings. And a circle has no crossing and is what's called an unknot. Simpler knots were more likely to form on the shaken chain, like A is the trefoil knot with three crossings, and B is a figure eight knot, which is the only knot with four crossings. But more complicated knots with more crossings also did show up. Then in 2007, Dorian Raymer here came up with a new way to test the formation of knots. He put hundreds of strings of different lengths in boxes and gave them a spin. Then they did a couple hundred more trials with boxes of different sizes and strings of different thicknesses and they developed a simplified model of knot formation using braid terminology. And the strings go randomly over or under each other making crossings in braid moves. It's super hard and takes a long time to differentiate complex knots from each other, so he wrote an algorithm to see what they jostled up. And they found that shorter strings have less probability of getting knotted when agitated. But after a critical length, the probability that a knot will arise rises quickly. With loose, flexible string of a long enough length, the probability of a knot forming nears 100%. But there are some confinement effects when the string starts to fill up the box. So the probability of a knot never reaches 100%, especially with less flexible string. They saw every knot on the chart with up to seven crossings. And weirdly, almost every single spontaneously formed knot was a prime knot. So it was one of these knots on the chart. And not a composite of two or more of the knots, like this one, which is two trefoil knots. Dorian Raymer and Douglas Smith won the 2008 Ig Nobel Physics Prize for this work.